what you most want to be found will be found where you least want to look. Drop what you're doing that's foolish, that you know is foolish. And pick an aim that's worthwhile, you know, to make things better for yourself, like you're worth taking care of, like you're worth something, you know, and to surround yourself with people who, who believe the same and who are, what, rejoicing in your accomplishments and unhappy when you fail, right? And you're comparing yourself to your accomplishments of yesterday and not to someone else's today so that you're not jealous and bitter. And you put your own house in order so that you're not cursing the world and you're trying to pursue something meaningful and you're doing your best to tell the truth. If you're disciplined, in, in fact, that's almost what discipline means. It, discipline means that you're capable of making sacrifices because you're not disciplined if you just do something you want more rather than something that you're doing that's not discipline that's maybe that works and great if your life is working out that way great man but that isn't that isn't discipline discipline is when you want to do something right now and instead you think no i'm going to forestall my gratification maybe forever but certainly for a very long period of time medium to long period of time and you concentrate on something that you think will bear fruit in the medium to long run and so you look into the future and you decide that by making today a little less impulsively pleasurable, shall we say, you'll make tomorrow a little bit more secure and productive. And then you actually do it too. And that's difficult, you know, and people watched the successful succeed and the unsuccessful fail for thousands and thousands of years. And we thought it over and we drew a conclusion. The successful among us sacrifice the successful among us delay gratification the successful among us bargain with the future there's something you're avoiding that makes you anxious that your brain will pick on right away and it'll say you have to do these whatever number of commitments today and if you do them then you have fulfilled your obligations and if you listen to yourself and do the difficult things that yourself tells you to do the idea is you don't have to compute the utopian future because following what it is that you tell yourself to do every moment is the best path to whatever the best outcome is. You ask yourself, and this is meditative, what is it that I need to do today so that this would be a good day? And your brain will tell you, it'll say, that I could do something about, that I would do something about. Which is also another horrible question because as soon as you get an answer to that, then you have a responsibility, right? It's like, oh God, I have to go do that. And it's something you don't want to do. You don't want to do it. That's why you've been avoiding it. So you might say, well, at least you can start your self-organization by improving those things around you that are self-evidently not good. And that's easy, man. Anybody can do this. You can sit down for 10 minutes, say, well, I'm going to be honest with myself. Like, oh, that's a horrible thing to do. I'm going to be honest with myself. Okay, I'm probably doing a dozen stupid things that I could quit doing that are making my life less, more wretched, and also the people around me. And so you think, okay, what are those things? And you know, and then you can ask yourself, okay, that sucks and it's miserable and it's not very self-affirming. Is there one of those things I would... I would be willing to do something about. And it's like it's some little trivial, horrible thing that you're not going to get a pat on the back for. No one's going to give you an award for it. And, but then you go do it. That's kind of humility, I would say. And then you keep doing that. Looking for a daily dose of inspiration? Subscribe to Motivated Soul and get inspired anytime, anywhere. Watch the next video now or save for later. Your time is valuable. Use it wisely.